everyone, I'm Sarah of Rich Textures Crochet and welcome. Today we're going to learn how to crochet this Monster Ice Pack cover. Now this is uh, just a simple cover that will cover a cold compress. So just an ice pack that you put in the fridge with summer around the corner. Um, my kids are always experiencing bumps and bruises uh, and often like a nice pack just to cool down. So uh, this little cover provides a little bit of protection against the cold ice pack. They're nice because they are removable and you can throw them into the wash as needed. So this is our little monster ice pack cover. Uh, it's made with a 100% worsted weight cotton. You can use any um, that you like. I'm using a mismatch of brands, a little bit of Bernat Handicrafter cotton, as well as some Lion Brand Pima cotton. So you're going to need uh, four different colors, about 100 yards for your main color, and then small amounts for each of the other colors. You're also going to need a five millimeter crochet hook and as well a stitch marker for marking the first stitch in your rounds as we work continuous rounds for the cover itself. This one that I'm holding is about four by six inches in size. I'll give you instruction a little later on on how to make it bigger or smaller depending on the size ice pack or cold compress that you are using. So thank you so much for joining me. While you're here, I invite you to subscribe, take a look around. There's lots of other free crochet patterns and stitch tutorials. And this channel is, of course, updated weekly. Feel free to say hello down in the comments. Today we're going to start uh, the Monster Ice Pack cover by working the body. So you're going to take your color A and uh, start by making a slip knot. This body is worked in continuous rounds, so you'll want to have your stitch marker handy as well. You're going to begin with your color A by chaining 16. And I neglected to mention if you are looking for the free written pattern, you will find it on my blog at richtexturescrochet.com, also in the description of this video. It may be helpful just to have it in order to follow along. For round one, we're going to start by working a single crochet into the first, uh, the second chain from your hook, and then e across in each stitch until you have one stitch remaining. So single crochet into each stitch until you have one stitch remaining there at the end. When you come all the way across and you have one stitch remaining, you're going to work three single crochets into the final stitch. So just into your final stitch, three single crochets all into that same one. This is going to bring you around the opposite side of your chain and you're now going to work along the opposite side and just as you did before, work one single crochet into each chain all the way across until you have one chain remaining. So I'm going to keep working all the way across. Until there's one remaining. Thank you. 
When you come across to your final chain, you're going to work two single crochet stitches into that final chain and you do not join, do not turn your work. For round two through to 26, so for 25 rounds, we're going to work continuous rounds of single crochet stitches. So into your first stitch, work one single crochet. You're then going to place your stitch marker so that you always know where that first stitch is. You're then simply going to single crochet into each stitch all the way around. When you come back to your first stitch marker, keep going, mark that first stitch and you want to work single crochet stitches uh, until you have worked a total of 25 rounds. Uh, there's no chaining, no turning one, no, uh, no turning, uh, no joining or anything like that. Just work single crochet in each stitch all the way around until you have 25 rounds uh, and then meet me back here. Once you have worked your 25 rounds, so we're at the end of round 26 now, this is what your work should look like. And you're just going to join with a slip stitch into that first stitch and then fasten off. You can then go ahead and weave in any ends or uh, leave them for the end if you'd like, it's up to you. So sh you should now have this nice little pocket and uh, it should fit the size ice pack uh, that you're working in. Now, if you wanted to change the size of the ice pack, all you have to do using any multiple of stitches, d um, depending on the width that you would like, just uh, simply chain your foundation chain to the desired width and then you're going to continue your rounds up to the desired height. And that's all there is to changing the size of your cover. So you can then set that aside and then you're going to work the ears. I've already worked one here. They're just a simple little circle. I've worked them in my color A, but it's really up to you. If you have other scraps that you'd like to use up, uh, go ahead and switch up the colors. So for your ears, you're going to make two of them. Start by making a slip knot, and you're then going to chain two. For round one, into that second chain from your hook, work six single crochet stitches, all into that second chain. Um, this time we're not working the continuous rounds, so at the end of this round you can join with a slip stitch into your first stitch, as I'm going to do in just a sec as I come around. So once you have your six, join with a slip stitch into that first stitch. Do not turn your work. You're then going to chain one and into each stitch all the way around, you're going to work two single crochet stitches. So at the end of this round, we're going to have 12 stitches. Work two single crochets in each stitch. At the end of this round, join with a slip stitch into the top of your first stitch and chain one. At the end of your round two, join with a slip stitch in that first stitch, chain one. Now we're going to work one single for row th round three, one single crochet into that first stitch, followed by two single crochets into the next. You're going to repeat that all the way around, one single crochet into the next stitch, two single crochets into the next. Repeat that all the way around and then join with a slip stitch into your first stitch. At the end of this round, you'll have a total of 18 single crochet stitches. At the end of your round three, join with a slip stitch into that first stitch. You're then going to fasten off, leaving a little bit of a long tail and we're going to use this tail to sew our ears onto our monster. Now it's up to you as far as which way you want the ears to kind of turn uh, when you put them on and uh, 
you can be a little bit creative with it. I have already sewn one ear on over here. So I'm simply going to sew my other ear on and to sew them on what I did was I just laid it here on the inside. I kind of folded it over a little bit and then just simply went in and out around the bottom of my ear. And I did it a few times so that it didn't, uh, it doesn't fall off as easily just all the way across. Just onto the inside of your ice pack cover. Once you're happy with it, you'll want to secure it. With mine, I just worked a little bit of a knot and pulled it quite tight before weaving in my ends. Just like so. And there's your two little ears on the top at the opening of your ice pack monster. You can then once again set it aside and you're then going to work the eyes of your monster. They're worked in a similar way except with a more of an oval shape for the white of the eye as you did for the ears. So I'm going to use a little bit of this pearly gray -y white color. And you're going to again make two of them. So start by making your slip knot. And then as you did before, chain two into that second chain from your hook, work six single crochet stitches. and join with a slip stitch into the top of your first stitch. For round two of the eyes, chain one and work two single crochet stitches in each stitch all the way around. You should have a total of 12 stitches at the end of this round. And when you come around, join with a slip stitch into the top of your first stitch. That brings you to the end of round two. For round three, we're going to chain one, single crochet into that first stitch, and then work two single crochets into the next. You're going to repeat that two more times. So single crochet into the next stitch, and two single crochets into the next, single crochet into the next stitch, and two single crochets into the next. You're then going to into your next stitch work one half double crochet and then two double crochets into the next stitch. Double crochet into the next and then two double crochets into the next stitch. Half double crochet into your next stitch and then finish off this round by working two single crochets into that final stitch. You're then going to join with a slip stitch into that first stitch 
and fasten off once again, leaving a little bit of a long tail. At this point, you can set those aside, although very briefly. We're now going to make two pupils for our eyes. So I'm going to just use a little bit of this black. You're going to once again make two of these. And in the same way as you did your other circles, start by chaining two and working six single crochets into the second chain from your hook. You're going to join with a slip stitch into that first stitch and then chain one. Just as you did before for row two, work two single crochet stitches into each stitch all the way around, join with a slip stitch into that first stitch and fasten off leaving a long tail. So you're going to do this twice. So you have two pupils and then meet me back here. Once you have completed your second pupil, you're then going to sew them on to the whites of your eyes uh, before you sew them on to the body. So I just placed one right over top of the other, uh, taking my yarn needle, simply sew all the way around working through both thicknesses of the eye just all the way around and you can place the eyes wherever just to give them a different a little bit of a different facial expression uh, depending on what you're going for but you just want to sew them onto the whites of your eyes just makes it a little bit easier before you sew them onto the actual body of the monster so go all the way around just like so when you come to the beginning you may wish uh, to secure it secure it a little bit to make sure that it doesn't come undone. And then you're going to tuck in the end. Repeat it for both of the eyes and fasten off. Once you have both eyes together, you can then take your monster ice pack and position them on to the ice pack wherever you would like them to go. And then just as you did for the uh, pupils onto the white, you're then just going to sew them into place. working all the way around and making sure that they are securely fastened on to your monster. So you can go ahead and sew those eyes in place. Once you have sewn on your two eyes, you're then going to work a simple nose. Now I worked just a round button nose so just as before, this time I'm using my color D, uh, chain two, and then work sing two, six single crochet stitches into that second chain from your hook. Join with a slip stitch into your first stitch. 
and then I fastened off leaving a long tail. Using that long tail, just as you did with the eyes, you're going to sew that nose on to the front of your little monster ice pack. You're then going to take uh, whatever color you would like. Uh, for my original one, I used a little bit of black and then I simply embroidered or sewed and a mouth on to uh, my little monster. That way you can kind of change up the facial expression. I gave my first one just a little quirky smile, just like though. So, so sew your nose on and sew your mouth. And then we have one final little patch to work for the back. So once you've put on your little nose and done a mouth, you're then going to set it aside. We have one little patch on the back, which is optional. Uh, you can see it here on this one that I've already completed. We're going to work this final patch and then it is sewn on to wherever you would like. So we're going to start by once again making a slip knot and then by chaining two as you did before into your second chain from your hook work six single crochet stitches join with a slip stitch into your first stitch. For round two, we're going to chain one into this first single crochet, work three single crochet stitches. So all into the first stitch. We're going to make a little bit of a triangle shape. You're then going to single crochet into the next stitch and into the next work three single crochet stitches. Work one single crochet into the next and three single crochets into your next stitch. Finally into your final stitch work one more single crochet and then join with a slip stitch into the first stitch. Now I've noticed that my center of this one is a little bit large. I will go ahead and kind of sew it closed at the very end. You're then going to chain one for row three, single crochet into that first stitch or round three, I should say. Into your next stitch, you're going to work three single crochet stitches. Next, single crochet into each of the next three stitches and repeat. Work three single crochets into your next stitch and then one single crochet into each of the next three stitches. Work three single crochets into your next stitch and then you should have two stitches remaining and you're going to work one single crochet into each of those remaining two stitches. Join with a slip, sti slip stitch into the top of your first stitch and fasten off leaving once again a long tail. You're then going to go ahead and as you did the other pieces and I will, once I have closed my circle a little bit better, I'm going to take the back of your ice pack cover, position your little patch wherever you would like, and sew it on just as you did the eyes. You're then all set to insert your little ice pack into the cover, and you're all good to go. So that's all there is to working the Monster Ice Pack cover. Thank you so much for joining me. And uh, I look forward to seeing your finished ones. And uh, feel free to tag me 
or Rich Textures Crochet on social media. And I look forward to seeing you again soon. Until then, happy crocheting. Bye. Mm -hmm.